Hello, Paula here. I just wanted to show you another way to set up the canvas for painting, but this time on a piece of drywall that is not attached to your house. This one I found in the alley, not like this obviously, just a scrap of drywall. I put the thin painter's plastic around the front and stretched it so that it didn't have any wrinkly, well not too many wrinkly bits because that might show up in the painting and taped that nice and tight and then stretched the canvas around. I've actually, I primed my canvas first and then stretched it around and stapled it mostly on the back or the back for the long sides and the short sides I end up stapling on the front of my piece of drywall and then I put some tape over the top of the staples because I have discovered the hard way of course that um, when you paint over all those staples it's hard to find them and get them out again and makes a mess. So anyway it's my my happy solution was yay masking tape. After that I marked out the area with pencil and then painted a green so you could see it. The teal, whatever. Uh, this is the art area for the original. I'm saying to the customer okay you're going to get an original it's going to be 39 inches by 18 inches we're doing it with a bit of extra border because we want the framing people to be happy and not have unhappiness or hissy fits so they can stretch it. So this, this area outside the painting area is just stuff where someone can get a grip and do the stretching or that kind of thing. And then I want to know where is this urn thing going to be because when I come along afterwards after you've mailed back your original canvas this thing in its little cylinder which I'll send you I'll send you the mailing tube and with the template in it but anyway so when it comes back I'm gonna take the photos of the whole th I'll take the photos nee, 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 and then merge them together and we'll get a nice big high definition image great good printing but I'm gonna crop out a middle band so that this is for the urn so you want to know where is that going to be how much of it is going to be on the urn and how much is just going to be extra artiness to make the original painting look a little bit bigger and be easier to work with. Pretty proportion. So I place the template on my canvas that's all nicely stretched out and okay so it just fits there and I stuck, oh let's see, can you see from here? Anyway, at the corner here I put a little nail in a little bit of an angle so that the string can hold. A piece of string across the top, a nail on the other side on the in the teal border, not in the painted area. And then I stuck a little nail on the other side and a string again and then marked out with the ruler back into the border again with some pencil just so I can know where everything is. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, I won't. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Let's see. Okay, can I turn you around? Ooh, doo -doo. Hello there. Oh no, I can't turn around once I'm recording. Anyway, here we go. So there's a nice teal border. Such a delightful colour. And there's a little piece of string with a nail on it. String comes across. Bitty bing bing. Whee! All the way down to the other side. And another nail. And then in between, I've marked where the, so this, this is the up and down, the bottom and the top edge of the urn wrap. And then this is the front panel, which will be smack bang dab in the middle, smack dab bang whatever, in the middle of your canvas. But you'll have some extra, which is just there for the original. This is the bit that's going to be photographed for the urn. And the center line, so the center of the center is pretty much the center. This will be the left side of the urn. On the other side will be the right side of the urn. It will wrap around and this will be the back seam over here and the other back seam over the other side. So they probably need to match a little bit. Just while you're working you want to be able to cut loose, do your arty thing and all the creative stuff and not worry about I'm gonna lose it here. I don't know where the urn edge is. So this is just so you can find it again. 
And if you get completely lost and paint over all your stuff, you can always like put the template back down. Or you can just not do all this business and just every now and again put the template on. Think, oh, you need to make the red shape go a little higher. Whatever. So you don't have to use this, but if you want to, it's there. So happy painting, and I'll talk to you sometime. Take care.